everyone, welcome back to another roundup of uh, the week so far. Uh, let's get straight into it. Last video, I mean, I thought we didn't have very much to to video because we're, I haven't really been doing very much, um, but we got the best reaction so far. Um, the video was actually trending uh, worldwide on YouTube. Amazing, thank you very much. Uh, also, I'd set a question last week uh, for the research of how many times uh, What Makes You Beautiful was performed. Now, uh, there are, I actually don't know what the answer is to this question, so you might all be right. Um, but let's have a look at what people thought. Hi Liam, me, at always she, at Harry Sunflower, and at O underscore Benedict. Work together to find total times One Direction song, What Makes You Beautiful. I did like a crowd research. And we got an estimate of 375. That's more than once a day for a whole year of your life. Wow, that's crazy. Just concert alone, all four tours, you would have sang What Makes You Beautiful at least 328 times. That's from Adore Harry. Uh, this doesn't include TV show performances and other performances, which will probably track much more. So basically, a ton of times. It was a lot of times. Can't believe I'm actually doing this. I've gone through 10 years of One Direction to look up how many times they sang What Makes You Beautiful. I'll update you. Update. Uh, after an hour of researching everything I could find, I counted 358 performances. I'm 100% sure I missed a bunch of them. So we're around 300 to 400 performances so far. That is a heck of a lot of times to sing the same song over and over and over again. Um, to answer your question at 10.22, One Direction sang What Makes Beautiful four times if I calculate it correctly. Four times. Amanda Faith, I think your maths is off. Other big news this week, uh, I had my clothing launch. <laughs> this is my new capsule that we're all looking upon right now. Um, it's out right now at Hugo and a place called About You, I do believe. Um, so please go and check it out. I love um, this capsule, this is my favorite one to design. Uh, I actually drew a lot of these designs myself at home, which is uh, a lot of fun for, to get your art into it. Um, yeah, check it out. Okay, some other stuff that I got up to this week. This was really, really cool. I played poker for charity, which is cool in itself. Um, helping people and getting to play poker. But not only was I just playing poker, I was playing poker against um, Walter Weiss and, is his name Jesse in Breaking Bad? It was Jesse in Breaking Bad. Yes, we have Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul playing poker against me. Um, here's some footage of that playing. Um, uh, quick note, um, Brian Cranston, the Cranston, the Cranstonator, actually uh, knocked me out. Um, it was a good hand, he won, fair and square. And I think he came lead on the table, and I think Aaron Paul actually came second. So well done, guys. Uh, and yeah, we raised money for the Trussell Trust uh, from my side, so thank you very much for that. It's become a weekly tradition to push the boat out on, uh, not physically push a boat out because we're all supposed to be inside, um, but to make date night special. Um, let's have a little look at this. Stop. There she is, she's grabbing a DVD while they're watching. Stop. All oh, right, we're randomizing date night. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Oh my god, they got unicorn Stop. sprinkle, that's hilarious. Thin crust pizza, it's not bad. Stop. Ooh. Mini corn dogs. Stop. Mm. No that laws was. when you're drinking claw. <laughs> Date night. Date night, love it. Wow, what was what, what film did they get there? I'm just gonna have a little recap for myself. Wonder. I haven't seen that. Hope it was good, guys. Um for my date night, I've actually run out of ideas of what to cook, um, but I found someone um, who is very, very special on TikTok. Um, let's have a look at some of his stuff. Chef check! Yeah, okay, okay. 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 Yes, this is the wonderful Itan, and he is going to help me come up with a, a good restaurant quality recipe um, for date night. Let's get into it, let's give him a call. I've got a bit of a problem, I'm running out of recipes, it's date night, I need your help. All right, you called the right dude, I am in the kitchen now and I feel like I'm your guy. What type of food are you thinking? 
I need something special, something restaurant-esque, something that's gonna knock the socks off. Let's see, what about penne a la vodka? Sounds extreme, let's do it. They're quite romantic, quite delicious. Should we get cooking? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, man, how do we get into this? All right, so let's get cooking. So we're making penne a la vodka. I feel like you gotta step up your date night game. Do you oh, agree? Oh, wow, it sounds good. I like that. Yeah, so we are making next level. This isn't like some takeout or we can't even go to restaurants right now. So I feel like you have to create the restaurant experience in your house. So that's okay. what we're gonna do today. Let's do this. All right, so you have all your ingredients? Uh, yes, I do. I hope so. Yeah, for sure. All right, so should we just get cooking? Let's do it. Okay, so do you have some water uh, that we can get some boiling in a pot? Okay, water is boiling. The water, one thing very important, uh, you might already know, is do you have some salt nearby so we can add some salt into the water? And he told mm -hmm. me that if you put um, salt on top of the pot on the water, it boils quicker. That might yeah, it does. Because you stick out. But why? Yeah, it does because it lowers the because basically so, when you add in salt, it makes a type of solution that then lowers the boiling temperature required to make wow. it boil. Awesome, we got garlic. So penny al vodka is quite heavy on the garlic, which might not be good for a date night because your breath might smell. But the food tastes so good, so I feel like that makes up for it. Uh, I use ten cloves. Oh, buy some professional. Let's look who, who who cooks at your house. Um, I cook quite a lot. Mm -hmm. But I like you know what I like it. Midnight snacking, uh, usually something chocolatey. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, that's oh, quite good. Go to as well. But by the way, uh, whenever you see your water starts boiling, let me know so we can add in the pasta. But just keep an eye on that. Fun. Oh, it's the same knife that I have, just a different handle. Now, let's get a big pan. Um, I have a, quite a large one. You don't have to use one as big, but... Isn't it amazing? Can, let's get that on a nice medium-high heat. Do you have some olive oil? Olive oil. All right, add in about a fourth of a cup. Awesome. Now, let's add in our sliced garlic into the pan. Have you ever flambéed before? Um, do you know what? I think my dad might have done it with me once, and we used to make a real big deal of turning the lights out in the kitchen to have a look at it. Very well, good. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a big deal about it also because once we do that, I'm gonna turn off a bunch of wine lights. Garlic. We're gonna add in some vodka. Do you have some vodka there? Yeah. Um, I use about a fourth a cup of vodka. Let's grab some red chili flakes. Goes for you. I like so quite spicy food, so I'm gonna add in two large pinches. Get those frying up in there. Oh, it smells great. It smells great. Now we're basically ready to flambe. I'm gonna quickly turn off some lights so that we can see the flambe process. Oh. even better oh, yes you want to be very very careful all right you ready so let's do it maybe i'll do it first then you'll do it go for it so it's not too much craziness okay so I'm gonna, you can see my pan here right yes all right so you're going to add in the vodka and then immediately light it on fire are you I'm ready bye okay don't don't burn off your hair i feel like your hair is very important Whoa. Oh. <laughs> now shake it that's how it ends the fire quick Okay. We flambe. Did we flambe though? That's it. Oh, oh that looks like a lot more. Cup. Oh, you did a cup. Oh, so yeah, that would be why there was quite the fireball. Um, let's get up our tomatoes, canned tomatoes. Sixteen ounces of that. That we survived. Extra vodka. Garlic mix. Oh, yeah, yours, get it on a nice medium flame so that can start bubbling away. Well, we have this cooking away for about five, six minutes. Eventually. How is your pasta and sauce looking? It's looking good. Okay, let's get out the blender because what we're going to do is we are now going to blend together this sauce. Now, one thing everyone loves about Penny Albanca is that super creamy and soft sauce. Now let's add it straight back into the same pan. Our food is coming together. We are almost ready to eat, believe it or not. Now make sure to scrape in everything because we want to get as much of this delicious sauce as possible. Now, next, time to grate some Parmesan. It's really up to you how cheesy you want it. Great. What kind of heat are we supposed to be on at the moment? Um, I put on like a medium low. Double cream, yes, I thought. Double the cream. Um, how much do we need? <laughs> uh, about a cup. And now is when we're going to start to see that beautiful, bright orange color. Yeah, how beautiful is I'm that? I've seen that. It's happening. Let's fold that bad boy in. This, this looks amazing. 
Okay, so now add your pasta to the sauce. Add your pasta in. And now once we have our pasta, we're still gonna wanna let it cook for about two to three minutes. We're trying to just bring together all those flavors, make sure all our cheese is melted. I do, but it requires a quick outfit change. We're gonna set my house on fire, is it? Do what button? But uh, bam! Uh, I know you just had a line come out with- Hey, line. looking good. This happens Ready to be for my favorite time. shirt. All right, now let's get a serving plate. Do a plate to eat. Uh, season with some salt and pepper. I think it's the time. Are you ready? But we already have the Parmesan and the cream that we may as well just like keep going. More Parmesan on top of there. Camera, that looks absolutely fire. I think so it's good. Me. What about you? <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, that is so good. Well worth the experience. Cheesy, creamy, it's all happening. Yeah, uh, quite thank you so much, you've saved date night. Wow, man, this is awesome. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. You've saved date night. Well, I don't want to at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to help. So happy you enjoyed it. Let's do it, man. I'll see you later. All right. Cheers. Bye. There you have it, guys. That was this week. I mean, you know, I suppose the only thing really left to do now is dessert. What a dream about for dessert.